Okay, today I would like to introduce a um, a website that would be very beneficial for both the student and the teacher. So we'll start by opening up a new window with Google. And we're going to type in Khan Academy. It's K-H-N. Okay, Khan Academy. The website is um, very informational. It has um, instructional videos that are easy to understand and that benefit both the teacher and the student. So I'm going to log out and act like a new student. So uh, this is the very front of the Khan Academy website. The learner start here would be for the students, teachers, and then our um, parents can also log into the cl school classroom and see what the students are up to. So if you were to start here, you would be starting here as a teacher if you wanted to create a new class. But since I've already created a class, I've done this with my Google account. So Google will take me in real quick. And so now here is my Khan Academy for me as a teacher and my students. So right now I have Miss Corral Art History course. And simply with doing this, you can go add a new class and then we can do instructional video. Okay, so once you do that, you press next. And this can go for many uh, subjects. So as you can see here, we have math by subject, math by grade as well, science and engineering, high school math, Eureka math, computing, art and humanities, economics, and finance, test prep, college, career, and other general subjects. For this instructional video, we will be doing art history. Um, it's going to be the closest thing that we can use for a art class, but students who are in an art class can still benefit from learning about the history of art. So we'll choose an art history class, and then we'll press next. Okay, can, so we can have students add to the class by typing in our class code, which I've just highlighted, and this will get them in. Or we can send, um, add students a different way. So we could s import them from a Google Classroom, if we're using Google Classroom, an email invitation, or create the account for them. So we'll start with creating an account. This can be beneficial to any grade age group. So I'll just show you here so that way we can act as a brand new student. So let's do, okay. So this is what we're gonna wanna command C, copy, and use for logging in as a student. And then this is also going to be our password. So just make sure you have a pen and paper for your students to write down this password or print them out if you're doing a large group. Okay, let's just exit out of here. And then we'll sign out. Uh, so this is the, well, here's the teachers one and it'll show the assignments that they can use or that they're allowed to be on activities that they're doing already SAT roster and other things so right now we don't have any assigned classwork so we'll sign out and I can show how a student would actually log in so let's do login and so given that little um, information we did with me as a student, we'll plug that back in and we'll become a student right now. So our username was Tara174 and our password was ZA6. 
C X Y or W G C H Just give it a second. Um, for school students, you probably don't ever want them to save the password because they use it with multiple students as well as having other classrooms come in. So we'll just say for this sake, let's have them press never. Um, you will have your parents agree to this beforehand and we'll start our learning. So it can even personalize it. So we could say we're old. Let's say we're 10th grade and let's see what are we learning well since I'm going to be an art teacher I'm going to be learning about art history continue with one subject so here are art history some things that we can learn about and so let's just start right away so what we can do is just click on any of these and we can start looking for videos and um, little uh, captions about specific artwork, which the great thing about Khan Academy is that it has lots of artwork and very clear images with um, comments from art critics. So that way we get a better understanding as a student as well as the teacher. So if the student were to scroll down and say the teacher said we were learning about, hmm, let's see, what would be fun? How about just an introduction to the Middle Ages? So right now you can see that we have the Middle Ages, an introduction, but it also includes uh, captions about stuff. So right here it's all reading, but it's broken down and a little bit easier for a student to take in and read. And then, so this one, let's see, here's a video. If you scroll down the side, you can see different subjects like Christianity in the Middle Age. So you can keep scrolling down and look for the play symbol. So this one making manuscripts and it should start right away in the middle ages parchment was used to make the pages of books parchment was made from the skins of animals the transition from a fresh skin to a surface suitable for so students can also learn visually besides just reading from the text the great thing about Khan Academy is that it gives you know, students this opportunity to see it much better than what a book can describe. So it gives a little about section as well and you can see that they have different ones. So for all types of artwork. And Khan Academy is constantly rather surprised. Khan Academy is constantly trying to broaden their um, artwork and videos so that more students have uh, more access to multiple subjects. So as an undergrad at CSUN, I was assigned many of these projects to work with and to really, you know, get a better understanding for my online classes. So let's do another fun one. Um, let's do Arts of Asia. So they have Start from the Basics and Practice for Your Next Test as well. All of these can which be assigned through the teacher's section by going through the same exact steps and then just selecting them. So we could do China. So you see, here's a practice quiz, but because we haven't, you know, learned anything, I have no idea what the answers are. And here's my little uh, tidbit about Khan Academy and its usefulness.